Welcome to All-in-One SEO. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Twitter integration with All-in-One SEO. So from the WordPress dashboard, head on over to the All-in-One SEO menu on the left and click on the link that says Social Networks. And this first page that pops up, you can paste in links to all of your social accounts. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to paste in the link to my Twitter account. And then I'm going to scroll to the bottom of this page and click the big blue button that says Save Changes. Then scroll back up and there's some tabs up top. The tab we're interested in today is this tab that says Twitter. So go ahead and click on the Twitter tab. The first part is about the Twitter card settings. This may be disabled. You want to enable that if you want to share a image and text excerpt on Twitter when someone shares your content on Twitter. So I definitely want that. I'm going to toggle that switch and enable that. There's two types of Twitter cards. There's a summary or there's a summary with large image. I'm going to leave it on the regular summary version. And then below that, you decide what you want to use for the default post image. So this is saying default post image source. And we have a bunch of options here. The first one is to use the default image set below, which we would set right below that. And then we can also use a featured image. We can use an attached image, which would be the default image that your post or page uses. We could use the first image in the content. We can use an image from a custom field. We can use an image of the post author. And then this last one here that says first available image, we'll go through all of these and grab the first image it can out of one of these options. I am going to use the attached image, which will make it the default image for my post or page. And then you can also set a default post Twitter image here. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this image that says demo site and use that as my default image. On the Dropbox above that, if I use default image, it will use this for all of my posts or pages, but I'm going to use attached image. If I don't have a default image for my post or page, it will use this as a fallback. Below that is default term image source. The terms that most people are familiar with are categories. So if you had an e-commerce store and you had a category that said men's clothing and underneath that a category that said men's t-shirts, if you forgot to set an image for that category men's t-shirts, the default term image source will be used. So I'm going to say you could use one from a custom field or the default one set below. I'm going to use the default one set below. And then I'm going to set this image and we'll say that was our men's default image for clothing even though it's a wetsuit we're going to say that represents all the clothing on my site you can decide whether you want to show the twitter author when someone shares your content on twitter yes or no i'm going to leave it as yes and then you can show additional data such as who wrote it and how long it might take to read the article i'm going to leave that disabled by default and then you can decide whether you want to use info from the facebook tab yes or no so what this does is decide the default behavior for all of your pages and posts. If you have this set to yes, it will pull information from the Facebook tab and use that for Twitter. If you have this set to no, it will not do that. and You'll have to fill it out separately. But this just decides the default. You can change this individually on any post that you're editing. I am going to go ahead and say no, don't use that. Below that are the settings for the home page. So this is showing me what my homepage will look like when it's shared on Twitter. It's doing the summary with large image card type. We can change that to just summary, and then it shows me what that would look like. So I kind of like the large image, so I'm going to leave it as summary with large image. And then you can set an image to be shared with your homepage. I like this demo site one, so we're going to leave that as is. And then you can construct your homepage title. So I'm using just the site title, very simple. But you could also throw in a separator and then maybe an emoji here, a nice check mark. And then if I scroll back up, it should show me what that looks like. So demo site, separator, check mark. Here's my demo site image. And then for description, you can use any of these smart tags that you will find all throughout all in one SEO. You can type in the hashtag symbol to see all of those smart tags. Or you can just click the link that says view all tags and see them that way. Or you can type in a custom description. That's what I did here. My description is all the demo site things you need. So once you're done setting all of this up, click the blue button that says Save Changes. And that's it. You have now integrated Twitter with All-in-One SEO. So when someone shares your homepage on Twitter, you know exactly what that's going to look like. And you've decided how you want individual posts and pages 
to appear when they are shared on Twitter as well. If you have any other questions, go ahead and check out our documentation at AIOSEO.com slash docs. If you don't find the answer to your question there, feel free to open a support ticket and we'll be happy to help you out.